This week at Interior. A new report out this week shows the Department of the Interior has a profound effect on the national economy. The new analysis shows Interior contributed $371 billion and supported 2.3 million jobs in fiscal year 2012, thanks to activities like outdoor recreation and tourism, energy development, grazing, and timber harvests. The takeaway message from this report, one I hope Congress will take note of, is that the Department of the Interior is an outstanding investment for the American taxpayer. You can view the entire report at DOI.gov. Secretary Jewell this week praised the announcement that President Obama has nominated Bureau of Reclamation Commissioner Mike Connor as the next Deputy Secretary of the Interior. Jewell says Connor brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to the position after two decades in public service working on energy, conservation, and water issues. The Secretary this week also convened the first meeting of the White House Council on Native American Affairs. That launches President Obama's national policy initiative to make federal agencies work better together to advance the interests of federally recognized tribes. An historic agreement signed this week between the U.S. government, the state of Arizona, and the White Mountain Apache tribe. The PAC guarantees water rights and provides funding for infrastructure to deliver clean drinking water to the White Mountain Apache Reservation. It also enhances water security for the city of Phoenix and other downstream users. Take a moment the next time you sit at your desk and imagine in a not too distant future, a young child in a small village of Carrizo on our reservation, stepping up to a kitchen sink and opening the faucet for a clean and refreshing drink of water. No longer will black water from old wells pour from that faucet. The Bureau of Ocean Energy Management this week held its first ever competitive lease sale for renewable energy in federal waters. The sale leases nearly 165,000 acres off the coast of Rhode Island and Massachusetts for wind energy development and brought in high bids of more than $3.8 million. The wind energy areas sold have the potential to generate enough combined energy to power more than a million homes. Secretary Jewell joined other federal, state, and local officials this week in St. Louis to break ground on the Park Over the Highway project. It's the first component to the City Arch River 2015 plan, which aims to revitalize and improve access to the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, home of the Gateway Arch. Proponents estimate the project could generate an estimated 4,400 new jobs in the region from annual visitation. And Secretary Jewell joined Education Secretary Arne Duncan as he hosted a Let's Read, Let's Move event with D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier, actor Hill Harper, Houston Rockets point guard Jeremy Lin, and former Washington Redskin Brian Mitchell and other guests. Let's Read, Let's Move aims to increase awareness about summer learning and supports the First Lady's campaign to fight childhood obesity. That's this week at Interior.